one, I did turn myself in. Yes, I lied, but I was not in the right state of mind. Um, there was no way for me to prepare for a situation like that. I was I'm scared. Not, I was <laughs> I'm not totally clear on the situation. Uh -huh. uh, and the report is rather sketchy with respect to the situation. And I will fill your honor in on some little details. I appreciate it. Uh, but what it, the report suggests is that you had contact with the individual. Uh, the police questioned you regarding that contact. You didn't tell them the truth associated with the contact. Uh, then you once confronted with information that you were not telling the truth, you came forward and told them that you disposed of the body. I mean, that's all. That leaves a whole lot out there that's unaccounted for from the court's perspective. But the, what circumstances are you talking about? Um, well, when she died, um, we were, it was just <laughs> random. Like, I, from my perspective, like, from my end of it. What, what from, do you mean? I was it? terrified. <laughs> Literally, from that point on, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't in the right state of mind for anything. And I turned myself in. They didn't present me with anything. I, after getting my thoughts together. So did you explain how do. she passed? I don't know exactly how she passed, what caused her to pass. I just know one minute she was cool, she was fine. She laid back for a minute. Next, next thing I know, she's just, she's, she was dead. I don't know what caused it. I did not cause it or anything like that. I reacted stupidly off of fear and panic like I've never felt before in my life. Literally. Who? Well, I mean, people are sitting around and somebody just passes. I mean, did you think about calling 911 or something like that? No, not at the time. Um, I, we were smoking. We were on marijuana as well. So my, it just, my mental state wasn't in any like logical spectrum. I was just immediately just terrified. Like, that's the only words I can use to describe so, the moment. Is, 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 are you telling me that you're stoned, she's stoned, you think she dies, and then you dispose of the body? Just like that? That was your choice? I sat for a minute and just, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I just did not know what to do. It's like... I mean, the first thing that came to your mind... I'm trying to understand with the limited information I have that this person passed away in your presence and your first thought is, well, I got to get My rid of My first thought was how bad it looked to start with. It's like, how do I explain like what happened? I don't know why she died or what it caused but her to die. It, and it just a lot of possible possibility just popped in my head and I was just reacting off of just innate fear. Just, I don't know, literally. I don't do anything. I, I just didn't know what to do. Literally. I literally did not know what to do. I sat for at least 10 minutes sitting there. Like, what do I do? Who do I call? My kids are upstairs. We just got into this place after struggling for like two years to get it, and everything is falling down. I, I won't have any conversation in this court. <laughs> and I wish I could take it back. I would have called the ambulance, called her mom, because her mom's so sweet. Her mom is so sweet. I just knew. <laughs> I wish I could take it back. Nobody had been in the situation. At the very least, they'd be able to be like, okay, this happened, confirm this. And everybody has some sort of peace right now. You know? But I just didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's not something. You know, like in life, you, you you try to mentally prep for a lot of situations, but when one that you just would never have even thought to happen just happens, and you're like, wow! Immediately, the first thing comes to your mind is everything about to lose, how it's about to affect your kids, your life in general, and then after that, how it's flipped when whoever it, it, it's it's like play play telephone and change many times, Facebook, everything just a lie hitting me at once. So I had to just take time and try to get my thoughts together because I was on panic mode. Ever since that happened, her mom at one point talked to me and I couldn't bring myself, but your daughter just died. What do I do? And I can't even.
even explain it. What happened? I just can tell you my honest reaction. <laughs> Anything further? You know, on my client's behalf, you know, I can say this that every interaction I've had with him, whether it's over the phone, uh, via Zoom, or, or personal jail visits, is the same reaction. You wish you could take it all back. And, and we know that's not possible, but if, if there's one person that might deserve to be able to take it back, he does because he's shown nothing but regret, sorrow, and, and just the utter confusion on his own actions. You know, he, he expressed to me on multiple occasions, I can't believe I did what I did. I still can't believe it because I'm not that person. And I don't believe a lot of my clients because they're always just trying to get over, trying to decrease their time in jail or prison or whatever it might be. This gentleman's not one of those persons. Okay, well, Mr. Prosecutor.